Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome again. Thank you uh, for joining me today. Uh, and it's another mail time. Ah, oh, second class in the UK. Not great at the moment because of the restrictions, uh, the COVID restrictions and uh, delays all through the Royal Mail chain. But I do like Royal Mail because uh, it's reliable. Although second class at the moment is taking anything up to a week instead of typically two days prior to the COVID restrictions. So it is taking a long time. Okay, so um, just some out of interest. Okay, this this arrived and this arrived. Um, it's the same product as we know, um, but uh, I'll give I'll give you one guess as to which type of packaging I prefer, uh, and it's obviously this one. Um, thing is, this this cost the vendor. Uh, three pounds three pounds ten to post now this cost the vendor three pounds ten to post and they've used a, uh, they've reused an Amazon box um, and and so it hasn't cost them any extra I wouldn't have thought to do this uh, but we will see we will see this is for another day so let me put that on one side because today the mail time is this box. So here we go. I uh, oh, just have a look at this. This is this is an issue with any package, but, but something has stabbed. Something has punctured this box. I assume. Um, but apart from that, I would say the uh, it survived intact. So here we go. I love opening boxes. Absolutely love it. It's like Christmas. So, right. I will have to. Uh, uh, I'll have to blank that out a bit because of the packing slip. in the bottom which is always a good idea plenty of bubble wrap again very very good very pleased and so what do we have here okay all right so we have some what appears to be some new uh, dividers from 1985. That's really interesting. 1985, and they're still they're still they're still new in their wrapper. Fantastic. Ah, most used telephone numbers. Um, 1984. Wow. Still unused. Phenomenal. Nearly 40 years old. Um, okay, so actually, no, this is just a reused pack because we've got some. We it's a it's a collection, isn't it? Financial and addresses and a few a few. Um, Write in pencil or non-permanent marker, erase with rubber eraser or damp cloth. Oh, I see. Okay, got it. So this is like um, a reusable sort of plastic, uh, um, a, a plastic rather than a paper. I've not come across one before. Anyway, 1984. Very interesting. 
uh, and we've got a uh, now what is this oh I see vertical it's the the vertical uh, um, I don't know I don't think that's made by the company so okay notwithstanding so five blank subject tabs Dublet Smiths one pound forty nine um, don't know. I'll uh, uh, anyway. It's W. It's a W. It's Smith's proprietary uh, set, so not not of the company. And then here we have some. Oh, these are open. Let's have a look. Name, address, telephone number, and they are. They date from. 1986 price was £1.35 um, interesting it's nice how the uh, how, how the company printed their plastic bags like that it's quite posh this price label looks like it's a John Lewis label I can't be sure um, but, I, but I'm pretty sure that that came from uh, John Lewis, which is a, uh, a uh, an upmarket department store here in the UK. And then we have some uh, some recycled notepaper, 35 leaves, 89p, and I'm and I know that that is a John Lewis. Uh, price ticket. Don't know how old those are, but they're not the company. And then we have personal organizer note paper ruled white, one pound thirty-five from a company called Pearson's. I've not heard of them. I'll have to look that up and I'll put it in the in the notes. Made in the UK, and these date from nineteen ninety-six. And then, which I love, this is this is the sort of thing I buy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Filofax points of distinction. Authentic Filofax branding, strong, secure ring. Okay, so that's an advert for uh, one of their uh, one of their Filofaxes. Um, one hundred white sheets of ruled note paper. And the date is, well, I'm not going to open it, but uh, maybe that's for another day. So, we've got a bit of a haul there. Quite a lot of stuff. And that's one of the bonuses, isn't it, of buying a, a used Firefax. Just sometimes you get a heck of a lot of stuff that you can, that you can use. So, I'll, I'll drink to that. So, let's put those aside for a moment and have a look at the main, the main event. Right. So, what is it? It is... Actually, we'll take all these out and have a, have a look at those in a, in a sec. Um... Well, first of all, it is, uh, it's English made, real calf, it's the, oh, crikey, these, these glasses aren't very good, but C2LF5 over 4, 5 fourths, which is effectively, uh, as we know, 30, 30 millimetre in, in today's money. Let's have a quick look. Take those out, and we are looking at just over 30 millimeters. So it's it's sought after, isn't it? The five four rings because you can get more stuff in it. Um, so it's the it's the C to a left, so two pockets, calf leather, and five 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 four rings. So. Two, two of the most important things now are the flatability, 
Now bear in mind this is a bit this is a bit skew wick, it's a bit battered. Um, I won't say battered, but well used. Um, and it I suspect that this has been stored in a cupboard so that it's it's there's been pressure like that and it's been sitting there for a long time so it needs to be trained so that it it moves back there but it can be it can be done as as we know so um flattability which is the thing that i bang on about all the time and it's the most important thing for me well as an empty binder it's sort of it's not great but none of these are really if they haven't been used a lot if they if they um if if this has been used in anger it it has the potential to be uh be fine with the flat ability okay um next most important thing is the rings so I'm just checking to see whether they are okay and I am happy to report that they are perfect Phew. because um, that would be soul destroying wouldn't it if, they're, if they're, uh, they can be sorted out but you don't really want to have to do that if you don't have to so what about the condition of this well let me show you something that is i'm going to see if i can hold it up to the light and and see so this says it's got a um it's got a logo on the front so it's like a company logo so this must have been issued to staff or it was a corporate this is a corporate badged binder okay and it says, it says, can you see that? It, it's actually saying the top bit there is an M and the bottom bit is an S. And then round it, it, it might, it looks like there might be an, it's hard to tell whether it's an encompassing E, so E-M-S, or whether that's just a, like a cartouche and there's just M-S. I don't know. If you know, then please let me know, because I'm interested in nerdy stuff like this. So, um, okay, so it's, it's a single piece of calf leather. There's no... There's no stiffness. It is it is one piece, and then there's two pieces to make the pocket. Um, I'll give you the uh, I'll give you the measurements in the description, um, but uh, just so that you can gauge yourself. So I'll leave that there. Oops, let me move it down there so you can see it. And then the other the other way. Okay, right, so you be the judge. So we know it's got 30 millimeter rings or 5.4 rings. Stitching is a little bit frayed in parts and it's, it has some wear on the, on the corners. Um, but it's quite a nice thing. I would probably just trim those off with a blade I wouldn't do anything about it it's not it's not uh, um, it's not an essential thing I mean this this would last another hundred years we know that don't we um, the the popper is missing so the whoever had this at some point has put in a I'm not quite sure what that what that is but it's 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 a neat substitute for the original popper which as we know they tend to fall off um i think it has been has had quite a lot of use because the 
you imagine this action if you do that to open it it's it's quite typical where you've got two bits of leather sewn together as this has so the although the stitching is there you get a separation of the of the uh, two bits of leather which is a little bit of a disappointment but nevertheless I love this I absolutely love this um, this was described as as red um, but uh, it's quite a nice burgundy I like it I like it a lot the this is really really shiny but you've got this Farlafax embossed logo there and um, I, ju I just I just like these uh, I'm not quite sure what the uh, what size of pen look that is but we'll have to assume that uh, it will take the, the it's the standard size that is uh, very very common with vintage file effects of this age I don't really know what age it is but it's it's obviously English made so prior to the uh, it's going to be made in the either the 80s or the early 90s. Um, but I really, really like this. I like this a lot. Anyway, so let me uh, let me end it there. Um, oh, not quite. Let's have a look at, uh, at what else we got. Okay, so we got some dividers. This says. Not file effects, but it says gold line. I've never heard of that. Um, the the ruler is dated 1985. Okay. Um, I've got some. Uh, don't forget here that a 1986, and then the these dividers are. The main dividers are 1985. Uh, the A to Zs are 1985 again, and we have the. Uh, we've got stacks and stacks of stuff here. Um, if found, please return to. Okay, this is dated 1990. Oh, we've got two of these. We've got one dated 1989 and one dated 1990 for the personal details. And then we have another of these, which is, it is the, it's like the plastic card, right in pencil and non-permanent marker. Okay, so uh, this is dated 1984. Some more don't forget, dated 1986. Addresses, 1986, and more of these dividers dated 1985. And then we have some blank ones, which are, again, there's one or two missing. So it's a bit of a hodgepodge, really, as we say in the UK. But nevertheless, some interesting, some interesting stuff. But I really like this hall as they say um so i uh, I'm, I'm very very pleased and obviously i am pleased that it came in a box rather than in a, well i don't know what this is i will uh, i will show you this in a later video but uh, I'm obviously hoping that this will this will be all right, but uh, overall, a nice little uh, addition to my collection, and with the with the with the bigger rings, um, I think that's very very nice, and it can be trained. This le this leather, I, I mean I'm I'm uh, I make no secret about it. I'm a fan of the the English made. File faxes, although they are tend to be utilitarian, so they're not they're not items they're not designed to be items of uh, objects of desire. They they are working tools. I love saying working tools. Um, 
it, it is it is nevertheless for me an object of desire i need to train it up a little bit clean it up condition the leather a bit but um okay there we go a firefax 2 c l f five fourths and um i'm uh, i'm going to be as soon as i finish this video i'm going to be doing uh another one the first of my ex um esoteric videos that might not be anyone's cup of tea but i'm going to do another one on the same day um and uh hope you like it if you don't doesn't matter um hope you like this one and i'll be doing another review more mail time this time next week thank you for watching and remember that although uh these are objects of desire they're also working tools too thank you and i'll i'll uh, look forward to uh chatting with you this time next week bye for now